What's up, so see how E said it in. What's up, so squad? What's up, so squad? Hey, it's your girl, so T, so T. You saw that thumbnail, so I'm gonna show you guys how what, how I brought it all together. I am doing sweet potato cornbread. This is my first time doing this. I never thought about doing it before, but hey, y'all, I gotta get some videos out here. So let's do this sweet potato cornbread, guys. Okay. But before we get started, before we talk about all the ingredients that you're gonna need to make this wonderful sweet potato cornbread, hit that intro. <music> Had some had some um noise in the background say yay okay so thanks to everybody for buying my soul tea cornbread mix i hope you guys really loving it now the only reason i'm not using my cornbread mix in this video because this is actually belong to someone who purchased it they actually purchased my last one and i was like oh this got to go out tomorrow so I'm gonna go here and just make some cornbread by scratch but what you see me make here by scratch is all what's in here is in this bag. Um, my sober tea cornbread mix. You go to sober tea llc.com and get your cornbread mix. Y'all, I'm telling you, I got this going out like y'all making homemade cornbread. Yes, you gotta put a little work into it. The directions on the back, but it's gonna come out like damn, I just made some homemade cornbread. That's what I'm giving you. So, yeah, so go there and check it out. So, let's get started. So, what you're gonna need to make this cornbread. If I wasn't already having this going out, I would just use this and add two potatoes and call it a day. But since that's going out to somebody, we're going to go ahead go ahead and make the cornbread. You're going to need a cup of all-purpose flour. You're going to need a cup of cornmeal. This is my cornmeal. I use white cornmeal. It's a fine cornmeal, too. It's a very thin cornmeal. So I use this old-fashioned stone ground yellow cornmeal. I like the texture of this. Um... <clears throat> We're gonna need some buttermilk, some cinnamon, some baking powder, two eggs, baking soda, stick of butter, cause we're gonna melt it, some flour, I come back again with the flour, and we're gonna need some sweet potato. I'm using three small sweet potatoes. I just need like a cup of sweet potato um, um, for this mixture. So let's get it started. Let's get our bowls out, guys, cause we're about to make some sweet potato cornbread. So if you, the holidays coming, it's Christmas. So I'm gonna put up here, corn. Sweet potato cornbread for Christmas, something like that. I don't know because if you don't know, switch it up, you know, you don't want your everyday cornbread that you used to. You can do like a jalapeno and cheese cornbread, something savory. This is something sweet. Um, yeah, so let's get it started. Let me let's go get our bowls so we can make this sweet potato cornbread so far. Okay, guys, we're gonna get this thing started with this one cup of flour. We're going to get it next with the one cup of cornmeal. And again, like I said, if you want some man, go to the LLC or get y'all this cornbread mix. By the time this video come up, I'll have some more up there. I think I sold out. I had to get like 10 bags just to see. And all 10 bags sold out. So we got to put some more up there. I'm trying to get a cup of this out without wasting it everywhere. And back, I like it. I want to do the pony spout. <laughs> and you know when you're baking, you gotta be precise on these measurements. So, yeah. We gotta make sure this exactly. I do. Some people may do like. I'm gonna make sure this is exactly one cup, y'all. Some people may do two things of cornmeal. I do, my ratio is equal parts. One cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal. If you really like that cornmeal, cornmeal thing going on, you probably can't use two cups, but we gonna follow my recipe. One cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal. We're working with our dry ingredients, guys. And we're gonna use ooh, a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna use a teaspoon 
uh, baking soda. Now I gotta get my salt out. A teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna use a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's my dry ingredients, y'all. Well, um, let's get the salt though. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got the salt. Now I'm doing one fourth. Mm. I'm sorry, one half a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon of salt. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do what? <clears throat> we're gonna take our spatula. And we're just going to go stir our dry ingredients up. And we're going to set it to the side. A cup of flour, a cup of cornmeal, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, um, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And guess what? This is our dry ingredients. Let's sit to the side. Let's get them wet ingredients started. All right, guys, I got those three sweet potatoes. I had three small sweet potatoes that equal up to like one big sweet potato. So it's going to get us like a cup of sweet potato stuff. So it's like a cup of flour, a cup of sweet potatoes, and a cup of cornmeal. And I did boil my potatoes or you could bake them. So right here, I got that Grandma Jackie. Let me put this in there. I got that Grandma Jackie sweet potato pie mix. And so we're going to use one cup of this. This is going to be for your sugar and all that other stuff. And if you don't want, if you don't have Grandma Jackie sweet potato pie mix, honey, you go ahead and use you like a half a cup of regular sugar, a half a cup of light brown sugar, just to put in here. But if you got that sweet potato pie mix, all you need is that right there. We're gonna go in, crack it in our eggs. I'm going in with two eggs. And then we're going to go in with some milk. I have me a cup of buttermilk. Shake your buttermilk up. We're going to go in with a cup of buttermilk, guys. One whole cup of buttermilk. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and stir this up because I am going to put in some um, melted butter, but I melted it in the microwave. I wanted it to cool down, so I'm going to go ahead and blend in my eggs so that when I pull in my butter, it won't cook. It's blended in. We're gonna go ahead, guys, and we're gonna pull in our one stick of unsalted butter. And we're gonna blend that. because I got the texture that I want from my sweet potato pie mix. Instead of using my stand mixture, I'm just gonna go ahead and I am going to add in the dry ingredients. So, so squad, I am about to add in my dry ingredients. And then, I'm gonna mix it. All 
And we are making us some sweet potato cornbread, y'all. Oh, it smells good. Smell like the holidays. So you guys need to get online. Get your grandma jockey what? Sweet potato pie mix and my sofa tea cornbread mix. Look at that. But at this point, you don't need the mixer anymore. We don't get our pan. Oh, I ain't preheat my oven to 350. Y'all, let's get this oven preheated to 350. There we is. We're gonna put this in the oven at 350. Be right back. Okay, guys, I got my butter. Now, um, this is my pie breakfast dish. Y'all, this is an 8 by 11 Oh, my oven is ready. I'm not sure, but we are gonna get what all up in these corners. We are gonna um, grease this dish. We are gonna get it buttered down. Cause I want all this butter to do what? Come on up in that sweet, in that cornbread. Try to get the edges. I don't want it to stick. Uh, my butter should have been a little bit softer, but I forgot, I thought I had some butter spray. And I was like, you know what? I'm using some butter, butter. So I get all up in the corner. So take your butter out so it could be a little bit of room temperature. So you could like be able to spread that butter all over that dish. Because you want your dish. So I think it's like an 8 by 11. I'm not sure. You want that dish to be buttered up so it won't stick. And then all this butter going to do what? It's going to melt down into that cornbread mix. It's going to melt down to the cornbread mix. So let me just go ahead and look at this cornbread mix, y'all. It looks so good. It came out so wonderful. It smelled good. I'm telling y'all how good it smells. So let's go ahead. And we're going to go from the top. And we're just going to pull our mix in. Pull our mix in here, guys. Get it all. And you'll cook this on 350. Look at that. Gotta make sure I hold my bowl a certain way. Arthritis, y'all. Feel my hand trying to cramp up on a girl. Y'all better stop playing. That's Brandon in the background. <laughs> Give it everything. Y'all, this is going to be so delicious. While this cooking, I'm going to shake it out. I'm going to go ahead and wash my dishes out. And going to put my sweet potato cornbread in the oven on 350 for about maybe 35 to 45 minutes until toothpick clean. But I don't need to use it. It's just like, I just know. When my cakes and stuff are done. But if you don't know, you can use a toothpick to make sure it come out clean, not wet and moist in the middle and still um, have the batter. So in the oven, see you guys when it's ready. So it's wild. Look at that sweet potato cornbread. All right, it's hot, fresh out the oven. I'm throwing some, okay, come on. I'm throwing some butter on there. You want that butter to melt. Okay. Look at that sweet potato cornbread. Mmm. It's so So they said they gonna stop to see how much butter. I don't know how much butter you think. I'm just saying. How much butter you think? <laughs> All right, y'all, last but not least, let's pull on some, some honey. Look, I ain't, look, I, look, I'm not even strong. There you go. I'm not strong. Honey thick, Sue. <laughs> honey is thick. I am not strong. <laughs> yeah. I'm not strong, and I'm not, and I'm right-handed, so I'm holding the camera with my right hand, you know. 
Let's spread this honey a little bit better than this. So y'all look at that. Let me spread the honey on a little better than that. There you go. And there go, y'all. Sweet potato cornbread, y'all. So squad, they get sweet potato cornbread. <laughs> Guys, okay, we're going to cut this cornbread. The sweet potato cornbread. I I'm using my little serve spatula right here. Ooh, ooh, look at that! I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Why I didn't use a knife? Because this so seriously roll with my brain. Why I use a knife? Mmm. Why I use a knife? Why you just knife? Give me, give me right there with the ridges to it. Let me get, ooh, that's a, mm, look at that. Man, oh man, oh man. Y'all, when I tell y'all, this thing is so moist and it tastes so good, okay? Mm, mm. <laughs> I might like to see the cornbread, but the rest of cornbread. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, this thing is good. And it's still so moist and that honey. I don't know why I feel like I cut it with this. Y'all, there's something wrong with me. Hmm. That tastes good. You just don't bear my Jackie mix. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. My sister wanted her to save her pee. Look at that butter and that honey. I don't know. I'm making beef stew tomorrow. Yes, the video's coming. I'm going to say this cornbread to go with this beef stew tomorrow. I might not let nobody eat it. They all going to have to eat off this. <laughs> all right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. Go to SoberTeaLLC.com. All your products is there. Cornbread mix. The uh, sweet potato pie mix, y'all. Your season flour. Yes. Look at this. Go check out who? My son. The cooking guy, my sister, New Life Journey, my vlogging channel, Silver Tea Vlogs, and my daughter, The Humble Spirit, and my son, Joshua Conte by Leo, and Brandon Reacts, The Raw TV. <laughs> Everybody trying to get in the man. This thing came out amazingly good. All right, so squad. Until our next video, I'll see you guys later.